Hey there, it's Pete with GCI Turf. Hope you're having a great day today. And this right here is called Snapshot. It is a herbicide that is designed for going in your annual plant beds, your natural areas where you have trees and shrubs, beds, pine needles, mulch, uh, anywhere except your grass. Okay, I do not use this in the grass. I only use it in my natural areas or, or bedded areas. Now the trick to making this product work is being consistent, okay? For the most part, weeds grow and live in cycles, okay? You'll have uh, springtime weeds that'll germinate in the fall and kind of show up in the, the spring, and then summertime weeds, they'll germinate in the spring and show up in the summer. And you know, all in between, it, you can't possibly go over and cover every single weed in one video and when they germinate and yada yada but the general idea is we want to break that cycle and the way we break that cycle is with a pre-emergent which hinders the seed from growing and maturing once it does germinate now with snapshot i typically treat my beds about three times a year roughly uh, sometimes four just depending on the weather how much it rains because the more it rains the faster things like this break down. Now where I messed up this year is I got incredibly busy and I did not and was not able to put this down early spring or my late spring application. I just didn't have time to do it. So I'm kind of starting over from scratch now. The beds I've been out here hand pulling and spraying them and they're pretty dang clean now. So I'm gonna get back on my routine with my snapshot. Now I've got two ways that I apply it. One is I use this little hand spreader right here. Now if you'll notice I have mine duct tape right here. You know duct tape is uh, what do they call it? Georgia Chrome. It uh, fixes pretty much anything. Well this tube should be out to about right here. The tube's about 12 inches long and I dropped this thing by mistake one day and broke it off so instead of not having a tube i took the part that was not damaged and put it back on here and just kind of taped it on so my tube is a little bit shorter now but that's okay it still works just fine now this right here is a belly spreader it's kind of no different the the mechanics of it the way it works it works very similar to a push type spreader but the strap goes across your shoulder and the spreader sits against your chest now, if you're interested, I'll link all this up in the description. You can check it out if you want to. Now, with most granular products, there's a certain amount you apply to a certain area. What I mean by that is you'll need to read the label because the rates are kind of all over the place for different things you're going after. But the, the general idea is a certain amount of pounds goes on a certain square footage. So the best way to do that is figure out the rate you want to use, measure out the length times width find out the area and then weigh out the product put the product in your spreader and evenly apply it to that area snapshot does need to be watered in to be activated okay now it's not supposed to rain for a couple of days here so am i going to go out here and water all of my natural areas just to water this in well of course i'm not going to i'm going to apply it because i have time to do it today I'm going to let it sit. It may sit there a couple of days before it rains, and then once it rains, it gets activated and it starts doing its thing. One thing I do like to do when I'm opening this bag, I don't just tear into it. I'll open up one corner, one end of it, like that. The reason I do that is I'm not going to use this entire bag. I have an incredible amount of bedded area here. It takes about 130 or 140 bales of pine needles to cover all my natural areas. And even with that much space, I'm not going to use this entire bag. This stuff goes a very long way. So I open one corner of it. That way when I'm done with it, I can roll it up nice and neat, tuck it away in my garage, and I'll have some for next time. Now I'm not coordinated enough to take this big bag 
and pour it in that little opening. So what I do is I pour it in a measuring cup and then transfer it over. Now, one thing I have found helpful is to just take a piece of paper, fold it up like so, stick it down in here like that. That way you don't spill quite as much because that is a pretty small opening right there you have to hit. Now this stuff does have a little dust involved, so I'm outside in a well ventilated area. I'm holding it away from my face when I'm pouring it so I'm not sucking any of that in. You can see I did get just a little bit on my patio. That's all fine and dandy because I'll take my blower and just kind of blow it right over in that natural area when I get done. Now be sure to be extra cautious about getting it in your grass areas, especially if you're close to aeration and seeding, because you don't want to take any chance on this affecting your grass seed germinating. Hey, thank you for watching. I appreciate you taking time out of your day to check this out. As a way of saying thank you, we're gonna have a big time Christmas giveaway. I'm giving away enough lawn care equipment that you could actually start a lawn care business if you wanted to. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and get on my email list and all that's in the description below and that'll get you entered for a chance to win that. Again, thank you for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll check you later.